Hi guys, my name is Steven Seki. Before I get started, I have to let you know that it's a genuine honor and a privilege that I get to speak to you. Your school got in touch with me to make some motivational content for you. And here I am, I'm buzzing, I'm excited, and I hope that you take something from these two videos make sure you got pen and paper because i'm going to be breaking some stuff down for you to help you through 2021 by the way congratulations happy new year i hope your new year has got off to a wonderful start before i get started a bit about me um i work as a motivational speaker I'm also a pharmacist. I would like for you to get to know me a little bit. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself before I get started so that you understand where I come from, who I am, rather than some weird man talking to you. I was actually born in poverty in a small village in Uganda. And at the age of six months, my mother left me and I grew up in poverty and very confused. I didn't know what life was or you know i didn't know there was an england or a better life so i grew up walking two hours to school coming home doing my chores um walking barefoot having one meal a day you know poverty is not fun but i don't take myself too seriously that's what my life was at the age of 10 i got an opportunity to come to england and when i came at the age of 10, I couldn't speak, I couldn't write, I couldn't read any English. So when I came to school, I remember my first day, the, the teacher was like, um, class, this is Steven. And all I could do was nod. I had no idea how to speak or how to communicate. And I got a bit older and I picked up the language and I developed a, a stammer. So I used to stutter quite a lot. Speaking for me, this is an achievement. I've succeeded in life because I can speak properly. And I hated school because kids really bullied me. And the school be began telling me that I've got dyslexia, I've got dyspraxia. I was diagnosed with all kinds of learning needs, but I still carried on, I still pushed on. And by the time we got to year nine, year 10, most of you have already been there we get asked what do you want to do for the rest of your life now this is a big question some of you are undecided you don't know what you want to do and for some people it's exciting but for people like me i did not know what to do and i hated that question because i had no aspirations i didn't think that school was for me i was just there to just be there because you had to go to school and the only thing i could think of was being a farmer because in my village we were farmers that's what we did so i thought well maybe i can do that because that's easy for me and um i don't know I, someone said the word pharmacist that day and i thought a pharmacist and a farmer was the same thing so when they asked me steven what do you want to become i said i'm gonna be a pharmacist now keep in mind i had no grades i was learning english I was still at A, B, C, D, and now I'm saying I'm gonna become a pharmacist. And the school told me, no, you can't become a pharmacist. Choose something more to your ability. And I know some of you have already been there. People tell you, choose something to your strengths, to cho choose something. They told me I wasn't academic, choose something else. But then that was all the motivation I needed. You know, when you got haters, when people put you down, use that as motivation. I told myself I'm gonna become a pharmacist and off I went and honestly I worked so hard and I failed so many exams I can't tell you that enough I've never got an A in my school life I've never been a high achiever but I've been a grafter I worked harder than every single person and I thought a university wasn't for me I didn't know there was a place for me at university because where I come from, I grew up in London, no one goes to university. You know, man's from ends in a big man thing, I'm telling you, nobody goes, you know? Everybody just there on road, they're just hanging around, they're just doing all the wrong things. And I told myself, I'm from poverty, my mom left me, life has been so cruel to me, can I really go to university? But I thought, probably not, but let me work my hardest to see how far I can push myself. And I kept pushing every single day. All my teachers knew me because at lunch times, break times, after school, 
I went to see them for extra guidance and help and they always gave it to me because I was a good student. And long story short, I got into university. When I was there, I didn't really belong there. I thought I'm gonna fail. And to be honest with you, university was a really fun time, but I also struggled academically because I wasn't smart. And I got onto the pharmacy course after so many attempts and I just struggled my way through it. And today I have to let you know, I'm a pharmacist. <laughs> I got through it and I became a pharmacist in the end. So if anybody ever believes that your dream is too big or you can't achieve something, I promise you, if you decide to be the hardest working person and you push for that dream and not give up on it, it is possible. It took me a lot longer than everybody else, but I made it to my dream. Um, a few years in being a pharmacist, I thought, you know, this pharmacy thing is not for me. I'm gonna go and try to become a motivational speaker. And again, people told me, Stephen, you got an African accent. Um, they told me, you know, you don't come from England, so you've got a bit of an, you know, you've got dyslexia, you've got a stammer. You know, people tell you all kinds of things that you can't do. And whenever somebody tells me that, I use it as fuel to push me forward. So when they told me you can't become a motivational speaker, I said, watch me go. So I began working on it, I practiced. Even today I'm practicing. If you go to my YouTube channel, my early videos, they're so bad, but I was working every single day. And today I do work as a motivational speaker and what I'm gonna be sharing with you in these two videos is some tricks and tips in terms of how I did it. Because I want you to do it and to achieve whatever dream that you have. Now, one of the biggest things that I struggled with was my confidence. I've never had any kind of confidence in myself or self-belief. And to be totally honest with you, not many people actually believed in me. And I know some of you know how that feels like. Because I remember in school, I was always in the bottom set. Now, for anybody is in those bottom sets, people don't really pay you too much attention. If you're acting out or if you're acting, you know, if you're being bad, there's always people in the bottom sets that are just doing the wrong things. And the teachers just don't tend to focus too much on the people that are not doing well. I remember that because people almost give up on you. And I just thought to myself, my confidence, self-esteem was always so bad because I, just, I thought no one believes in me. Why should I even keep trying? You know, family, friends, teachers, no one believes. But it's important for you to believe in yourself. Listen, you got to back yourself here. You got to stand up straight here yeah, and just back yourself. Because sometimes that's all you need. Know the things that you're good at. Because every single person is good at something. Some people can draw, some people can write, some people are good at exams. Every single person is good at something. Find your strengths. And once you find your strengths, focus on those strengths and make them even stronger because that's gonna be key to building your confidence. If you're good at something, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel confident. The second thing that you have to do to build your confidence is think of what's the worst that can happen. I remember I never used to try new things because I thought I'm gonna fail. People are gonna laugh at me. Whatever reason is holding you back, fear or failure, just ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? And then you have to remember that thing that you're scared of, it's not as big as you think. I used to fear people laughing at me, but then I thought, so what if they laugh? I love this. I want to do this. Let them laugh at me. And all the way through, people laughed at me in school because I was always trying, getting it wrong, and the whole class would laugh, but I kept trying. And that's the key. Just keep plugging away, keep trying, don't give up. The third thing that you should do to build your confidence is think of your past success. Every single person has been successful at something, whether it was in primary school, whether it was in secondary school, when you got that award, when you got that student of the week, whatever you got to build your confidence, think of your past success. You've done something well in your past. And because you've done that well, you can do other things well. So use that to kind of build your confidence up because that's the key. 
the more confidence you have, the more you can go forward. The next thing that you have to do to build your confidence is preparation and practice. Prepare, 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 prepare. I have to let you know, before I did this video, I practiced this at least 10 times. This is my 10th attempt in recording this video. I want it to be perfect for you guys. So prepare and practice. Don't just turn up to things. Prepare, prepare until you know it like the back of your hand. I always tell people, practice, practice, practice until you know it so well. The next thing is affirmations. You have to remember that you're good enough. I have never felt good enough at anything. I honestly, this breaks my heart because if I could go back to my younger self, I would tell that little boy, it's okay you're good enough because i always thought i'm not good enough i'm not good looking enough i don't have enough expensive things i always felt so inferior to every single person but it's important for you to affirm yourself even if you're not good at something tell yourself i am enough i am good enough i can do this speak positive things into yourself into your mind and i promise you that works so well to build your confidence every single day. Even if other people are putting you down, always make sure that you are firming yourself and picking yourself up every single day. And the last thing that you have to do to build your confidence, we've already touched on it, is manage your negative thoughts. This is massive. We all have negative thoughts running in our minds every single day. Most of us have this negative voice saying, nye, 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 nye. you're not enough, you're not pretty enough. You're... Sorry, I'm doing my voices again, and I'd be crazy by the way. But I have to let you know that that negative voice that speaks to you every single day, you need to learn to manage it. Whenever a negative thought comes into your mind, you need to quickly replace it with something positive. That negative voice is trying to bring you down. Now, I need you to remember this. You have to bring yourself up by speaking positive things to yourself. One of my biggest insecurity growing up was, I didn't feel like I was as clever as other people. And I used to compare myself to the people to the, in the top sets because those people always got the best grades. They always just found things so easy. It felt like they could just open a textbook read it and they would automatically understand the information whereas i thought how could i become like that i was so focused on what other people were doing i didn't focus on me and as i got older i realized maybe i can't open a textbook and understand things straight away but i can write out the same information 100 times until it sinks into my head that's what i need to revise i write it out over and over and over again until I understand it. And that's the key to how I built my confidence. Those are my top tips. I'm gonna repeat them all just for you. The number one thing was beware of your strengths. Focus on the things you're good at and make them even stronger. The second thing is what's the worst that can happen? Nothing can break you. So go and give it a go. The third thing is think of your past successes things you've done well and do those things again to build even more future success the next thing is preparation and practice practice prepare practice prepare until it becomes so familiar to you the next thing is affirm yourself this means speaking positive things into your mind affirm yourself that you're good enough that you're strong enough that you're pretty enough that you can do absolutely anything and lastly manage your negative thoughts don't let your negative thoughts win don't let the anxiety don't let those things that bring you down win you can do it and most importantly you are good enough repeat that to yourself every single day I am good enough I promise you I use that sentence even now in my life I tell myself I am good enough and I get up and I go out there in the world and I try to do as much good as I can I hope you guys have enjoyed this first video. It's been lovely to meet you. I'm gutted that I haven't had the opportunity to come see you in person, 
but we've got plenty of time so i hope you're keeping safe i hope you're healthy and i hope that you're using the start of a new year to build a positive new start as well i'll see you in the next video